What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing Sun and Moon Mandala Customs. And while I do that, I'm going to show you five of my favorite things to use while customizing shoes. So without further ado, let's get into it. I use Pro Tape's crepe paper for covering large areas quickly, and then I come in with a thin vinyl tape to finish off the sole. Vinyl tape helps me get a more exact line, it's great for doing curves. I also like having a medium sized option. Scotch 2060 tape is a lot better than the regular blue scotch tape because it has an extra strong hold. None of these tapes leave residue when they are removed, which is awesome. This is the finished taped up shoe, now let's move on to another favorite. Angela's paintbrushes are another essential for customizing. I bought a set of Angela's brushes and they're really good quality at a really good price. I've had them for about 6 months now and they've had lots of use and they're still in great condition. Now let's use them to paint the background colors of the shoes. Another one of my favorite materials to use is Angelus acrylic leather paint. You can find it on Amazon or on the Angelus website. I purchased a 12 color assortment kit. It comes with 12 one ounce jars and you can choose whatever colors you like out of the 90 options. I really like their paint because it stays on very well and doesn't crack. Another benefit is that it is very versatile in its uses. Even though it is leather paint, it works great on fabric too. My other favorite paint material is Poshka paint pens. They are really good quality and come with a variety of colors. I have the fine tip 0.9 to 1.3 millimeter pens, but you can also get a 0.7 millimeter fine tip, a 1.8 to 2.5 millimeter medium tip, an 8 millimeter chisel tip, or a 15 millimeter extra broad tip. Now that I finished painting the shoes, I'm adding a coat of Angelus' acrylic leather finisher. It helps lock in the paint and gives it a shine. If it was a fabric shoe, I'd use Angelus' Too Soft. That makes the fabric soft so that the paint will stay on even when the shoe bends. To apply leather finisher, paint on one or two thin coats with a paintbrush. To apply fabric softener, mix it in a one-to-one -one ratio with the paint. I like the acrylic look, but Angelus also makes a matte finish if you prefer that. Now let's move on to number five. The finisher helps, but to make sure the design stays on, even when water and dirt gets on the shoes, I add a rain and stain resistant spray. Having some sort of spray like this is really important. I've tried a couple brands, but Crepe Protect is my favorite, because it dries fast and creates a very effective barrier. Kiwi and Force Field are good brands too. So happy the rain has stopped so that I can break out my newly hand-painted Supergas by Tate Hudson. Check out this cool design. Sun and moon. I asked him to come up with something that he wanted to do on these white leather Supergas, and he came up with this beautiful design. 